Hey guys, Clums here. We're here to unbox the Almar SKRS MAN shifter with the gear shift knob. It just arrived today after 5 calendar days from when I ordered it from Poland to Singapore. How fast is that? So the box contains some paperwork, I removed that already. But uh, the main contents are the actual shifter in this blue box and the some goodies from the seller. Very fit tour. Look at these Polish chocolates. Not sure what you call them, but um, how you pronounce that, but they're, they look good. I'm going to try that. <laughs> so thank you very much to Benefitur for the kind gesture. Polish chocolates, awesome. Let's open the actual shifter, Almar brand. Beautifully packaged. And inside, dun -dun -dun -dun. drum roll please. There we have it. USB cable. I think the length is sufficient for most of our needs. For me, I think this will do just fine. And then the actual shifter is wrapped in pretty neat plastic. Let me just take that off one second. Alright, almost out. And we will see it in all its glory. Looks very nicely done. That is the actual gear shift knob which you can map to any button you like. That's the splitter. The range is below. Just trying out these switches. And this is the leather part. To be honest, I'm not quite sure how you use it. Maybe for other steering wheels, you would need this leather part here, but I think for the Logitech G27, which I have, I don't really need that. Craftsmanship is very nice. This is the range right here, low and high range. Beautiful. I think this is, comes from actual truck parts. This is not just assembled. So this is what you would actually see in an MAN TGA or TGX truck that's manual. Awesome. And there you go. That's the Almar branding right there. Genuine Almar product. Beautiful. Man, can't wait to try this out. Alright, let's assemble this. Meet you back in the steering wheel area. Alright. So I have the Logitech G27 steering wheel. This is how the shifter looks by default. And uh, once you place in the Almar SKRS shifter, that's more or less high level how it will look like. But first, let me show you again the buttons. Splitter, this one, that one, range, that one. I hope I got it right. And that's the gear shift button. Alright, so this leather part though, I'm not really digging it. I would not like to put it in my wheel because if you see the shifter below, there's actually already a leather part there. So I think, for my purposes, I'll just remove this. I think I should be able to just pull it out little by little, there you go. Because I think it's only clipped in by a cable tie or something like that. So. It shouldn't take too much effort to pull it out slowly, little by little, so I don't destroy it. And uh, I think that should be enough. Because I think other shifters don't come with this leather part anyway. And it doesn't hurt, really. There we go, almost out. And there we go. So that's how it looks. Yeah? Alright. So it doesn't look half bad. With just the actual metal knob without the leather cover still looks professional and I think it will just blend completely well with the steering wheel we have with the shifter we have right so now we're ready let's assemble it first up we have to remove this cap just flick it off like so easy peasy no need for screwdrivers anything that's just there and there is a screw right there in the middle. I can't show it to you now, but I'll show it to you later in a sec. So let's get a Phillips screwdriver. Just uh, loosen this up a bit. It shouldn't take more than a few turns. You can already feel the knob loosening. There we go. Just pull it up and it should come right off like so. Easy peasy. Now I can show you the screw. There it is. So just mm, fasten that, loosen that a bit, and it should come right off. And now it's just a matter of shooting in the new shifter. 
So you can see at the bottom of this shifter is the screw which actually serves as the lock locking mechanism. So just unfasten that first, just loosen that up a bit so that you have enough space to shoot it in like so. Just pop it in right that easy. Just make sure to align it well. One sec. Like so. Shoots right off. It's a bit loose, of course. But then you'll just have to tighten the screw. And it's best to use a screwdriver for this so you're sure that it's locked in place. Otherwise, it will be a bit shaky and wobbly. But from that point, it should be set. Test the switches test that it's stable. Now in my case, I just did this by hand. I just screwed it by hand so it will still be a bit wobbly. You can see it's still shaking there but if you tighten that with a screwdriver, it will lock in place beautifully. So now I'll connect the USB and test it in game. Now that I connected the USB, I started up the game and I'm greeted with this prompt. The shifter itself will be treated as a USB gamepad, so it will not say Almar SKRS there or anything like that, but this is more than enough. So USB gamepad there. Just ignore this, no need to use it as a mouse. And now we load up the game and we'll see how to set it up. Once the game is loaded, we go to options, controls, and first thing we do is this drop down here, pick up the USB gamepad so it's considered as a valid input. And we take this shifter toggles, use switch mode, that's very important. Otherwise, the game will treat it as buttons. Let me show the camera here. This shifter toggle one is the range, so click it and flick it. That should reflect with joy button six. And the next one is the splitter on this side. So flick it and should be good. So remember the checkbox, right? The shift toggles use uh, switch mode. And also, because I have this extra button here, I'm going to assign that to engine brake. Normally, I think it's for a clutch, but uh, I have a clutch pedal, so I'd rather use this button for engine brake instead. I think that will be pretty handy. That's why I got it in the first place. Oh, and by the way, I will uh, put a link in the description of this video to guide you where to buy this from. It's an eBay site and the seller is Beferitura, if I got that correctly. So here's our truck. Truck is a DAF XF105 by Vadik. This is the same truck we had from the latest ETS2 episode in the series. So let us see how this shifter would work. Let's first and foremost start the engine. Beautiful open pipe sounds from Krishpun. If you watch the latest episode, then this is exactly where we ended up. Right. So let's have a look. How can I show you? Well, I can maybe try a few times to shift, but I think it's better if I zoom in like that. See 1L, 2L. I'm using the ZF12 speed shifter layout, by the way. And if I flick the toggle here with the range, I switch to 4L, 5L and 6L. I can flick the switch, the splitter to get into low and high gears accordingly. Flick the range, go back to low gear. Who is that guy in the wheelchair? Oh yeah, I remember him from the previous episode. <laughs> Alright, good, good. So let's go for a test drive. Let's see how this works. And uh, I'm, I'm not used to this yet for sure, but we'll see if I can manage this somehow. And I'm in a very awkward position right now because the camera is right in front of me in the way of the monitor and myself. So I can show you guys how the shifter looks like in action. Yeah, but this is not a very sustainable way. I cannot, I can hardly see what's in front of me. <laughs> anyway, let's get out first. We have a double trailer at our back, so we have to be very, very careful. Beautiful. Okay, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong gear. With the ZF12 speed, you don't actually have the second gear on the middle bottom. You have the second gear on the right upper part of the layout. That's third gear. And maybe we go right, or maybe it's better if we go... Hmm. Let's just go left. 
let's just go left. So that would make more sense. Going back the way we came from, from the previous episode. Alright, so let's test this out. 2L. 3L. If I want to go to 4th, I click the range. Go to 4th. Beautiful. That's the engine brake. Going back to 3L. Just testing out the engine brake here. It works. Nice. 2L, 3L. Click the range. Oh, wrong one. Range is here now. I got used to my old button for the range. Beautiful. That's the splitter. Came to 4 high there. Go to 5L. So I flick the splitter to low and then I change gear to 5. Of course, all of this is with the uh, clutch stepped on. But yeah, you get the idea, right? So that's basically how it works. And for sure, I'll need to do some practice, but more or less, I think I'm getting the hang of it. So there you go. That is the Almar SKR shifter, the MAN TGA, TGX, with the clutch button. Hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully this inspired you to get your own. <laughs> and if you do, if you do decide to get your own, I highly recommend Bifinitur. He has some other shifters on eBay. One from MEN, from Scania, I think from Volvo as well. But I think this one is the best because this one has an additional clutch button which you can map to an engine brake like so. Okay, but yes, so you get the picture. Hopefully this helped you out. If you did like the video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more updates. Let me know what you think. And uh, yes, clumsy trucking. Catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.